I have a ticket for the castle. You look strange. I'm on this meditation program. I'm not supposed to move. You sound strange. I'm not supposed to move my lips either. Oh, okay. Well, um, good luck with that. Uh, I have a ticket to the castle. Just walk in. The door is open. Oh, okay. Well, I'm off to the castle. Take this and put it on your forehead. It will protect you from the ghosts. Okay. Well, if you really think it's necessary. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, so she thinks I will be protected from the ghosts now. And uh, we have this one random side room here. I don't think we can do anything in this side room, but... Uh, oh, we can see this picture. This is Axel von Fersen being killed. And uh, that's it. That's it for that side room. Yeah, I don't know why that's in the game. There's really nothing of interest there, really. Okay, so uh, we go inside, and here's a dark area. It's too dark for me to go down there. But uh, we're going to have to solve some puzzles in order to go down there. Okay, so there's a painting. And we have uh, displays. The first sight that meets the visitors is this painting. Who's taking care of animals. And like many other castles... It's a good thing that I'm wearing that pearl on my forehead. There's a ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many people have tried to uh, figure out this area. So, uh, the place he died was marked with an X. Lost Fad Castle... Built in 1630s... This is the upstairs area... Axel von Fersen lived here, might have known the Queen of France, and his favorite number was 211. And, uh, candles or something, right? Oh, ye, old, old toilet. That's locked? So let's see, I don't remember what we have upstairs, so let's just check it out. This is basically a museum area. You can see all sorts of things in the museum. But you're not supposed to touch the exhibits. Just look at them. Just look at them, okay? Yeah, I don't don't see anything we're supposed to get here in the upstairs area. Let's go to the main part of the museum. Alrighty, these are rooms. That's a desk. That's a little picture thingy. What about this room? Let's go here. Mmm, nice painting. More stuff. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> so this desk is locked. The code is 211, the lucky number. That gives me the key to the door near the uh, second floor, unless I'm mistaken. Here. Oh, it's right here. Okay, well, the key is here. It gives us the kitchen. A box of matches, which is a Swedish invention, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently matches are a Swedish invention. I did not know that. Okay, so we're back in the main hallway. We're back in the main hallway. The, the museum just loops around itself, really. So we're going to go down here gonna go back inside the museum. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to leave. I wanted to turn here so I could get to the basement. Use the matches here to get to the basement. So this is, uh, let's see. More, more rooms. More rooms. More rooms. Here we go. This is where that child died. Ooh, I don't want to be haunted by the ghost. And this is obviously a thing. So here's the secret meeting place. So there's where that meeting place is. Yes. Now, in case you've forgotten, we're trying to meet this secret meeting place. According to the clues inside Anna's apartment, she was meeting with someone at the secret meeting place. This apparently is the last thing she did before she disappeared. So the meeting place is right near the uh, entrance. Just turn and go into the woods. 
Yep, this is it. This is it. And what's this? Axel, I'm so glad you've made it this far. Here's some clothes that will help you blend in with the population. To get to the cottage in Fimp Song as soon and as safe as possible. Oh, you need to try to get to that cottage as soon as possible. You'll recognize it from the picture I gave you. Love, Anna. Or Anna. Is it Anna or Anna? I don't... I don't know. I, I think it's Anna, actually. I, I think her name is Anna. I think that's how we pronounce it here in Sweden. Could be wrong. So I believe now we go to Anna's apartment. At this point. Yeah, okay, we've got a couple things in her apartment after we see the meeting place. And we need to go back to her apartment to get back her, her painting. Because I'm not a mean person. I'll give her back her painting. I don't really need it anymore. So it's here, right? Great. So that's back, and the thing that fell was this. So here's a puzzle! That's the solution. So 546363. That gives us a key. A very well hidden key, I, I must say. So the key goes here. Oh, and this is the puzzle. What we need to do is uh, check the symbols on the paintings and put the paintings in chronological order. That is by date, earliest to latest. I think it's three, one, four, two. I know it's three something, like three, three, one, two, four. Don't know. Okay, let's check the one on the right. Anna. I wish you were here with me, but since you're not, I can't think of anything better than writing you. There are not words enough to express my gratitude that I met you. You know the bitterness of my heart. You know that I'm innocent of what I'm accused of. At the end of the day, that makes up for all the injustices I've had to put up with. Especially since our roads wouldn't have crossed if it wasn't for this at all. Still, I wish that we could be together every day. I wish I was cleared of all suspicions once and for all. And once again, I could be able to walk the streets as an ordinary man. But that's not likely to happen, and I must not get lost in dreams, even though I must admit that it is sometimes quite tempting to do so in my situation. However unpleasant my life has turned out to be, it's not healthy to be too much out of touch with reality. Sometimes I feel like I'm kind of living my life from a distance and nothing's really real. Can it be that these accusations are so bizarre? One morning I even woke up with the terrible notion that meeting you had just been a dream. This must have been written on Anna's typewriter. Yep. Y you notice, it's, it's her typewriter, so he wrote her a love letter on her typewriter. I had to get up and look at your photo and feel your scent from the things I know you've touched. At least, I imagine your scent is still there. Please, it's not creepy, I swear! When recalling every dear memory I have of you, I was once again reminded that I'm the luckiest man in the world because of the eternal dream of mankind. The dream of love. Hope springs eternal. That dream is more than just a dream for me, it's a reality. I love you, Anna. It goes without saying that this has made me more eager, even desperate to see you again. With all my love, Axel. So we really do need to solve this puzzle. So three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, four, that was the solution. Okay, so. We have a ring. And I believe this is an inheritance from her sister. Remember, her, she inherited this uh, cabin from her sister and um, uh, a cottage, a cottage. So now we have the address. Now we can actually go there. And according to our clues, um, you know, what we saw in that secret hiding spot, that is where uh, Axel is hiding. Axel is hiding out in that cabin. Maybe. So let's go there and find out. Oh, and what's this? Some mail. This was not here before. Swedish Prison and Probation Service. A payslip from the Prison and Probation Service. She worked 52 hours, 57, and then one... I don't know what the hundreds are. Okay, maybe I'm misreading this. No, I... That's just how much she made. So she made 57 kroner, and then they took out all this for taxes, and now she's only got 32 kroner left, maybe? I... I could be reading that wrong. Anyway, wow, check out these plants. Wow, there are plants everywhere. Woo, plants. Hey. 
All right, so that's that's it for now. I'm gonna end this video. We've got two things we can do um, uh, now. Uh, we can uh, visit the cottage, or uh, I think we can talk to uh, Katarina some more about uh, Anna's job as uh, at the prison. She was a prison historian. I played this game before. I know she was a prison historian. That's what we're gonna find out in the next video. <laughs> Sorry to spoil the, uh, you know, the big secret of her being a prison historian. She taught there to the prisoners. That's how she met Axel.